Hello and welcome to a new AMS tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to make single and double walled carbon nanotubes. Carbon nanotubes are used in a range of advanced applications such as medicine, electronics, material science and catalysis. The inner carbon nanotube usually has a diameter of 1.1 to 2 nanometers and the outer carbon nanotube usually has a diameter of 1.4 to 5 nanometers. So the first thing you want to do is click the link in the description which will take you to a carbon nanotube generator which will look like this and change the chirality vector to 9, 9. This adjusts the size and width of your carbon nanotube and then change the format to CIF and then generate. Copy everything and paste it into your input. Now we want to center our nanotube by going to edit, set center of mass, and we want to move it in the x direction, so we're going to rotate it 90 degrees around the y axis. And now as you can see the, the diameter of our nanotube is about 1.2 nanometers. So for our outer nanotube what we're going to do is go back to the tube generator, make it bigger, and then generate it once again. Copy everything, and now it's important to paste it in a new input window and recenter it before pasting it over the other nanotube. So, paste, and then once again center it and rotate it around the y axis. Now we can copy it and paste it over our previous nanotube. There we go. Now you can change the porosity from bulk to chain, and then we're going to view periodic. And now you can repeat the unit cells. You can repeat them as many times as you like by changing the unit cell range. Let's say minus four to four. Okay, now we have a nice long carbon nanotube. As you can see, the outer nanotube has a diameter of 1.6, which is also very nice. Um, next up, I'm going to optimize this nanotube We're using the DFTB module. I'm going to use the GFN1 XTB model. I'm going to optimize it and then run the geometry optimization and I will get back to you in a second. All right, the geometry optimization has finished and as you can see, not much has changed, which is a good sign. That means the carbon nanotubes were already positioned in an energetically favorable manner. However, if you want a finite length of your carbon nanotube, you can turn off the periodicity. You can then generate a supercell and we're going we're going back to periodic and then we're not going to repeat the unit cells. However, we are going to generate a supercell. Let's say four and then we press OK. This will generate a small nanotube and then if you turn off the periodicity, you can saturate it with hydrogens by going to atoms and add hydrogens to form a finite carbon nanotube. That was all for this quick tutorial. If this tutorial was useful for you, please leave a like, leave a comment down below, let us know what tutorial you would like to see next. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tutorials like this. And as always, take care.